hope you guys are, thank you. I hope you guys are very, very excited. The reason why I'm excited is because everything that I've manifested, everything that that has been happening, I realized that it's come from the spiritual. When I first, when I when I first started learning these principles, when I first started actually um, going through the process of uh, of becoming successful and 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 wanting the exotic cars and you know won all of these things around me. Um, it started. It started in the physical, right? And a lot of people. I, and 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 I love this training tonight. Why did I erase that? I love this training tonight. Is because one thing we always heard everybody talk about it with the the Davids, um, the Bob Proctors. But like, it was times where I was just like left, basically like, man, okay, I hear what they're saying, but. How do you do it? Like, how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you do this? How you do that? So I'm so I'm excited to share with you guys. And and what I'm sharing with you is not only, you know, biblical principle. These are principles that you guys can use. But these are things that I specifically do on a daily basis. So when people say, well, how is it that Jason makes X amount of this? He does this. He's attracting this. I'm giving you guys everything that I do from from start to finish. I hope, is everybody okay with that? Is everybody okay with that? I hope everybody's okay because if you want to go, if you want to get to the next level in your business, you want to get to your next level in your trading, if you want to manifest, you know, a lot of money, six figures, seven figures, whatever the case may be, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to do and I'm going to give you guys proof as well. So um, I guess until Coach K tells me he's in position, I'm going to just roll with this. So we gonna, we're going to go ahead and get started, right? So I titled this The Four Agreements because this is another book. There's Coach K right there. Uh, I can't hear you if you were trying to unmute, boss. No, I'm good. I just want to let you know okay. I'm in position, man. I am excited. Burn go. Some, yeah, burning some number eight go knee sticks, some incense. <laughs> Those things smell good. But let me let me rub my hands. Let me clap. Let me snap. I hope I'm not in y'all's ear. I want to get my energy right because I want to give you guys everything. Um, me and Coach K and I asked Coach K and I asked Barbara to be a part of this call. Where is Barbara? I thought Barbara was going to do my introduction. Where is Barbara? Is Barbara on this call? Where is Coach Barbara at? Uh-oh. Can she not unmute? Well, I asked I asked them to be a part of this call because this was like the second book that like really, really changed my life and how I, and as far as my thinking goes. This this book has tremendously helped my business, it's helped my investments, it's helped my trading, it's helped everything in my life and I wanted to give it to you guys, but I wanted to give it to you in a sense where um, it's, it's, it's not so G coded. I wanted to break it down to you guys to the sink to the, to the, I wanted to break, basically I wanted to break it down to you so easy that it would, it would take somebody to help you misunderstand it, right? So I wanna give it to you all guys. All I ask right now, I know it's 20 plus people on this call. All I ask right now is to take notes. My motto, Rich people take notes and broke people forget what they should have wrote. So white paper, blue ink right now, write it down, guys, because we're going to get right into this thing. And we're going to start with this right here. And I love this, right? Slide number one, right? Let's go. Why do you believe what you believe? I love this. Why do you believe what you believe? What agreements have you made with yourself? How have these agreements shaped your life, right? Ladies and gentlemen, why do you believe what you believe? Think about it. Like you ask people when they say, I'm a God-fearing man, why are you a God-fearing man? Oh, I believe, you know, I, I believe in, in this D Democrat party, this Republican party, whatever the case may be. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to write this, this one quote down right now. It goes like this, your thinking is not your own. I'm gonna say that again. And Terry, if you can help me with that in the chat, please. Your thinking is not your own. What do you mean by that, right? Why, why were you told to go to college and good, good, uh, get good grades? 
Because your parents told you to. Why did your parents tell you that? Because their parents told them that, right? Why, why did you go to church every Sunday? Why did you go to church every Sunday? Praise the Lord, um, you know, dance, shout, celebrate. Why did you do that? Why is it that some families believe in God and other families b believe in Buddha? Why is it that some families believe in Buddha and other families believe in Confucius? Why are some people Christian? Why are some people agnostic? Why are some people so on and so forth, ladies and gentlemen, your thinking is not your own. When you were young, you were giving, you were giving a particular set of beliefs and the beliefs that you, that you heard the most, the beliefs that you were around the most, you made agreements with those beliefs. I'm gonna say it again. You made agreements with those beliefs, right? If you believe in a certain thing, it's because you heard it enough. Okay, thank you. You heard it enough to where it shaped your life to where it is today. Write this down. Your thoughts shape your reality. Your thoughts shape your reality, right? If you didn't believe you were good enough to do something, you stopped trying and you didn't do it. If someone told you enough that you were not good enough to do something, you accepted that as an agreement and you didn't try, right? There's been plenty of times where um, I've seen it where people would go around the house and they would sing. And then their parents would say, man, I wish you would be quiet with all that singing. You sound like a, a cat scratching a chalkboard or something crazy like that, right? And when the person accepts that agreement, what happens? They become shy. They become timid. They don't sing anymore. They're not as happy and exuberant as they used to be, used to be because they accepted those agreements, right? It's not your fault where you are, but it's your fault if you stay there. I want y'all to write that down. <clears throat> it's not your fault where you are, but it's your fault if you stay there, right? Now I want to deal. I want to deal with a couple others as I go to the next slide, right? What is one of the agreements, right? Money isn't everything, right? Put type sevens in the chat if 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 you've ever heard that from your parents, your grandparents, um, anybody that that you love and respect it because you listen to people that you love and respect. Type sevens in the chat if you heard money isn't everything. Type sevens in the chat if you heard money is the root of all evil, right? Coach K, you want to give us another one? Type sevens in the chat if you've heard, don't be materialistic. Type sevens in the chat if you've heard, uh, go to college. You're not going to be successful. I heard this one from my dad. You're not going to be successful unless you go to college and get a job. Jason, here's one. It, it, it is it is hard for it is easier for a camel to go to a, through the eye of a needle than it is a than a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. There you Did you go. get that? Did you there get you me? Go. Did you hear me on that one? I said it's very difficult according to scripture. If you don't understand it, it says that is 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 it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than it is a rich man to go to heaven. We'll deal with it later. Just want to throw that yeah. at you. Well, well, no, we're actually dealing with that right now, Coach K. Okay. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. So think about that. Has anybody, I want you to be honest with yourself on this call tonight. If anyone has accepted those agreements, congratulations. I know that you've struggled financially. Period. <laughs> congratulations. I know, I don't even know everybody personally on this call, but if you've accepted any one of those agreements, I know universal law you struggle financially. And we're here to break that today because you've accepted those agreements. Remember, your thinking is not your own, right? And I'm gonna have Coach K deal with the strangest secret slide, right? Because this is one of the things that changed his life that we heard from Chanel, Imanitia, and David and the others. So Coach K, talk to them real quick about the strangest secret. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it was uh, March of uh, 2017. Uh, I was at a Platinum 1000 event that David and his uh, lovely wife at the time was hosting. And uh, it was at the end of the actual seminar or the, the get together that 
I was enlightened to how this works, right? I was enlightened to the fact about the frequencies and the vibrations and even in that, ladies and gentlemen, the things that you listen to, and I'm not going to get ahead because Jason knows by, uh, by trait, like I say, yeah, I've taught you know, the word of God for many, many years and preach and all that good stuff. But when you start talking about these life-changing principles, we're talking about, we're not talking about religion. We're talking about principles. It doesn't matter what you believe, because even if you don't believe, you believe that you don't believe. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna deal with this today because the strangest secret is, here's a principle. The thing that you preoccupy yourself with the most, the things that you think about the most, is what you're going to attract. If you think that you can't, and so I think I heard you say this, Jason, you were talking about the little engine that could, I think I can, I think I can. See, and that's the thing, as long as you stay in that space, as long as you're giving that frequency, that vibration, you're gonna even attract the people that are gonna get in agreement with you that you're not good enough. And so that's so important. And so three years ago, what I did, I began to include and separate myself from the people that said I couldn't, and I began to operate on the frequency and the vibration speaking. We're going to get into the agreement number one that talks about the word, but this is kind of prerefaces of that because every single word that you speak gives off a frequency. I mean, here's a study, and I'll let Jason, we go on to this. There was a study that was done. You can Google it. And it showed in this particular illustration how water, they would take water and they would take crystals of snow. And then in one, in one set of the water, they would speak all negativity to that uh, water. Negative, negative, negative. You can't. Angry, frustration. And the crystals would turn brown. And the other side of the uh, test subject in terms of the water, they would speak life to it. And it actually began to illuminate even brighter than it was. So you can Google that, you know, in terms of that. So guys, what you think about, the things you focus on, that is the thing that you're going to become. Those are the things that you're going to attract. Jason, I'll say this lastly, whatever is in your head right now is what has created your world. Mm. Whatever's in your head right now, if you don't like what you got right now, it's what's in your head that created the very fact of what's your, your reality right now. And so, Jason, I'll let you take a step further. Absolutely. So, taking this a step further, ladies and gentlemen, our mind, write this down, our mind exists in the level of God. <clears throat> our mind exists in the level of God. So, here's a couple of, of, of agreements that I want you to make, to make with yourself right now. And, Terry, please write them in the chat, other leaders as well. One agreement I want you to make right now is this. Money flows to me easily and effortlessly. Okay. Oh, somebody said amen. Okay. We'll, 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 we'll pass the collection plate over later, right? <laughs> Money flows to me easily and effortlessly, right? I'm going to give you another one. I want you to, I want you to put, I want you to say abundance and prosperity surrounds my life every day. Abundance and prosperity surrounds my life every day. And I'm gonna give you one more and then we're gonna go into the first agreement. And I love this one. This, was, this one's my favorite one. <laughs> this, Coach K, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I, no, I was just I was in agreement with you. My, the, the first agreement is my favorite one as well. Oh, that's your favorite all, one? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so I, I am expecting miracles to happen every day. So therefore, miracles happen every day. Right? Coach K, Pastor Kearney Thomas, miracles. Right? <laughs> I am expecting miracles to happen every day. So therefore, miracles happen every day. We have plenty more, but I just want to give you those. I want you to start with those. And for my business builders that are IBOs I, and, my, and my people who want to go chairman, I see our wonderful leader Miranda's on this call. Um, this, say uh, These two, real quick. I am attracting leaders worldwide in my organization. Or better yet, I am attracting chairman tens in my organization right now. I want you to say it every day. And, I'm, and you'll see how long you're supposed to um, in a minute, right? 
So I am attracting chairmen in my business every day. I am attracting leaders worldwide in my organization, right? So let's go to agreement one. Agreement one, and this is in the book. I've read the book, I've done the research. We're gonna break this stuff down. Agreement number one, write this down. Be impeccable with your words. I'm gonna say this again. Be impeccable with your words. What does impeccable mean? It means in accordance with the highest standards of, pro of propriety, propriety, I'm sorry, faultless. In other words, impeccable means without sin. And I'm gonna have Coach K touch on that in a minute. Impeccable means without sin, right? The Bible says in the beginning, there was word, Coach K, and the word was, right god and the word was with god right or vice versa john 1 1 yeah that, you got it son yeah, i mean you, so, you got it the, in the beginning so, was in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word, word was god. god right i was almost there right yeah. you gonna throw some oil <laughs> ladies and gentlemen be impeccable with your words and i have to touch on this slide because this is the most important thing right what what are you saying to yourself every day, right? And and I'm just, I know we're Facebook Live right now, but but I have leaders that, that are involved in our company. What do they say? Oh, I don't get this. Trading is too hard. I'll never be able to understand. I'm blowing my account. I'm just not good enough. I'm not a good builder. Uh, people just don't want to join, right? People said it's a scam. People don't want to, y'all speak all of these things, but you have to be impeccable with your words, right? Um, Coach K gave you the, 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 the water example, the frozen water example. Ladies and gentlemen, whether you're moving or not, everything is energy. So the words that you speak, they're, they're either going to speak life or they're going to speak death, right? Um, hung by the tongue, right? Uh, the, the life and death is in the power of of the tongue, right? I used to say all kinds of crazy stuff, but now I'm impeccable with my words. Now, now every day I wake up, I say, oh, write this down. This is good, y'all. Uh, it's called a rampage of appreciation. It's called rampage of appreciation. When I wake up every day, I say, thank God I woke up every day. I can appreciate that. I see my dad's on live. I can appreciate that my dad is, has lived another day. I hear my daughter in there tearing up stuff in the other room. I can appreciate that because that could have been the last time that I ever heard it in my life. I woke up to winning trades. I can appreciate that I woke up to winning trades. I can appreciate that I have leaders that train three days a week. I can appreciate that I have a leader like Miranda Robeson that wants to see me successful. I can appreciate that I have a leader like Barbara Drayton that's going to go hard on Discord to our next transformation. I can appreciate Mama Sherry. Do y'all see how I'm getting excited? Because I keep using the word appreciate. It's called a rampage of appreciation, right? And when you do this, your frequency peak picks up, right? Because y'all hear all the time, but people saying you got to stay in a high frequency. You got to stay in a high a vibration. I'm showing y'all how to do it right now. It's called a rampage of appreciation. Just do it. As soon as you wake up, right? When my house didn't burn down, I can appreciate that. My car started today. I can appreciate that my car started today, right? Miranda just gave me that call and said that we're going to be doing X, Y, and Z. I can appreciate that she's thinking about me. Abdullah just told me that I need to get on my job and I need to work harder. I can appreciate that him wanting to see the value and see the best in me. Terry woke me up at 6 o'clock in the morning and said, hey, we got to get on this mission. I can appreciate Terry Clay thinking about me at 6 o'clock in the morning where she could have stayed asleep or she could have been cooking food for her kids. Do y'all see how excited I get when I start saying appreciation? I'm not trying to. It's just, it's just, it just raises your vibration. It puts you in a, it puts you in a good, um, it puts you in a good frequency, right? So, Coach K, do you want to take this one, or I'm, I'm gonna tackle it because I love. Well, this. you know, I, but you know, the thing is, is that I, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to kind of tag on that because you know, uh, you know, this is so important. This uh, agreement number one that you understand the impeccable 
word piece of this is that you don't want to get on a call like this and you're pumped up, right? You got a Jason McGee, you got a Miranda Green, and they're giving you, you know, all the juice, you know, and telling you, yes, you can, yes, you can. And then you say, I'm so happy and grateful now. I'm a chairman 10 by December 31, man. And you got the feeling going, you got the energy going. And then as soon as the call is over, you go back to those habits, those habits of contradicting your, your confession. Oh, God, no, I got another bill. I don't know how we're going to make it. Man, I don't know. Chairman 10 just may be out of reach. Maybe I need to be, you know, go for Chairman two, uh, uh, Platinum 2000 or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You start contradicting. And then not only that, when you start contradicting because the word says, hey, look, life and death is in the power of the tongue. You need to choose whether you're going to live today or you're going to die. You can't die and live at the same time. So you got to make up your mind that you want to live. And so because of that, I'm going to make sure that my words are impeccable. I'm going to make sure I'm speaking life. Even though there may be death around me, one, a, a thousand might fall by my right, 10,000 on my left, but I'm going to continue to speak life. It doesn't matter who quit. It doesn't matter what upline quit. It doesn't matter. I'm speaking life. And you need to speak life over your, your success lives. You can't speak death, you know what I'm saying, on, on another individual as well. Oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's about life, Jason. You can't get upset with your upline and speak death on your upline. It's all about life. Blessing. Blessing. The Bible says this. Okay, now I'm going to turn it back over to you, Jason. I tell you, I get fired up, right? It says See how that he got excited when I just started saying appreciate appreciation, right? And so, and, and, and so that's the thing. And what we need to understand is that the word says that you cannot have life or speak life and blessings. You can do you, you either one or the other. And so, our encouragement today is that as we go through this training, as you go through this, 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 this session where we're imparting this information is that you choose because even the word says choose the day. Don't wait till tomorrow. No, choose tonight that I am going to be a force for good, that I am going to speak life in every situation. And once you do that repetitively, I promise you that's when manifestation happens. Go ahead, Jason, sir. Hey, but I, I love that, guys. That was proof right there that it worked. When I started using my Rampage of Appreciation, Coach K instantly picked up on my vibration. So let's keep it moving. I, I made this slide especially. You can't speak death in a, in a spec life, right? You can't, you can't say, oh, my God, this doesn't work. I lost another trade. I'm not making no money. And then, and then when you cancel your subscription, you're wondering why you were speaking death and you expected life. You can't do that. It doesn't work like that. You got to say, you got to say, even though the situation may look like this, I can appreciate it that I'm plugged into a bunch of leaders that want to see me successful and grow, and I'm going to grow with them. You can't expect life and feel death, right? A lot of people go, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a chairman. And you don't even, you don't even feel good when you say that, right? So if you don't get your feelings involved with your confession, guess what's going to happen? Nothing. That's exactly That's what's right. going to happen. You can't expect life and feel death, right? When I wake up, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to do this too. Just say, I feel happy. I'm extremely happy. I am in a high state of gratitude today, and I can appreciate that. Then I cut on my music and I start dancing, right? Miranda, she's so young. Y'all should have heard them songs she was playing. That little young people stuff. I be dancing to that stuff, right? But you speak victory and feel defeat. How many times do me and Coach K and Barbara and the other leaders, we get on a call and people go, oh, yeah, I'm a champion. Hoorah. I can't believe it. And, then, and as soon as you get off the call, you mad because you, cut, you, you had your food in there microwaving for five minutes and it's still cold, right? Or whatever the example may be. You can't speak fit victory and feel death. There's a such thing as the law of vibration and the law of gestation. Coach K, talk to us about the law of vibration. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, I'm really into, uh, you know, vibration, frequency. Uh, you know, Jesus uh, taught about uh, frequency and vibration as well. You don't hear it in, uh, in a lot of churches. But the fact of the matter is, is that it is scientifically proven, guys. And I know that, you know, we're under leadership that's kind of denounced science, but I'm telling you, science is real. And the fact of the matter is, is that every, everything, everything operates on a frequency, everything. 
And so what I began to do, I'm just going to kind of give you some of my secrets in terms of what made me become a good trader because it's not because I'm smart. It's not because Jason is my son and all that kind of stuff. No, it's because I began to operate on the frequency of what a good trader operates on. So when I get ready to trade, I don't go, I don't come to the screen or to my charts and I say, oh, oh, well, man, I hope I'm on. I hope the day's going to be a good day. No, I come and say, I'm going to kill these charts. And you know what? And I clap. You know, when you clap your hands, what is, when you clap your hands, what is that? That's frequency, right? You know, and, and I know that around here, you know, my, 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 my kids, they call me Mr. Chairman. They don't even call me dad. Hey, Mr. Chairman, why? Because of the frequency that goes with that. So it's not a matter if I'm going to be a chairman. I'm already a chairman. So how does a chairman move? How does a chairman walk? How does a chairman, ask Marana, how does, I mean, she chairman 10 now, she don't walk the same way. I'm telling you, she don't even, I mean, her movement is different because it's a different frequency. It's a different vibration. And so you have to stay away from low vibrational people. I mean, you don't care if it's mama. So how do I get away from a low frequency vibration of a spouse? Oh, help me, Jesus. You mean that you got a wife that's low frequency? You got a, you get your children are low frequency. What do you have to do? Ladies and gentlemen, you have to be intentional. You have to, I don't care how chaos, how chaotic it is in your house. It doesn't matter. You have the power to change it by getting on a higher frequency and maintaining that frequency for a certain amount of time. And then manifestation starts to happen. People around you start changing. Everything starts changing. And so the law of, vi of, of vibration, every single thing, even the food that you eat operates on a frequency and a vibration. So if you eat low vibrational foods like sugars, what do you do? You kind of go down, right? If you, eat, if you eat high frequency vibrational food, mostly greens that you don't like, you get energy. And so that's a whole other uh, subject, a whole other training about frequency and vibration. But I just appreciate Jason gave me an opportunity to at least share my enthusiasm to encourage people to uh, to study it. Right, and, I, and, I, and, I'm, and I'm super glad that you said that. I'm super glad that you said the law of vibration. Ladies and gentlemen, how many do you know, right? And, and I'm glad Coach K said this because he just gave me the, he just, he just literally gave me the epiphany of that. How many people you know you, I mean, I, I hear it all the time, but we, this, this is my family, so we are gonna keep it real tonight. Miranda probably hears this all the time. I know my dad hears it all the time. But I hear this all the time. Man, the team ain't building. The team don't want to move. Man, I'm the only one that's doing this. I'm the only one that's doing that. I done brought in seven people. I can't get him to bring in this person and this, that, this, that. Ladies and gentlemen, how many people know on this call tonight, if you change your frequency, you'll change the frequency around everybody that's in your circle? I'm not going to tell you who, 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 who I had the conversation with, but he was like, man, bro, what are we going to do if, 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 if the team, you know, we need millennials, we need this, we need that. What are you going to do if the team starts, starts building? Guess what I told him? I said, well, guess what? I said, I'll recruit all 500 people myself. That's the frequency I'm on, right? Because everything is on me. I want everybody to type that in the chat right now. That's what I love about this company. Type on the chat right now, everything is on me. Your success, your next rank, your trading, everything is on you. And if you change your vibration, right? If you stop getting frustrated at your upline, your downline, your lateral line, if you stop getting frustrated at them and you just change your frequency and vibration and you call them and text them and say, you know what, it's going to be a good day. I hope that you bring in as, as, as many people as you possibly can. I appreciate that. And you motivate your team with that same frequency and vibration. When's the last time you told your team, your team, hey, I believe in you. Hey, you can do this. Hey, if nobody, if nobody believes in you and supports you, I just want to let you know that I do, right? So here's where people fall off, ladies and gentlemen, the law of gestation. I really want everybody, I don't know how many people on this call and I honestly don't care. Uh, I'm vibrating so high right now, whoever needs to hear this message is going to hear it. The law of gestation. Here's where people fall off. Here's where people don't pay their pay their subscription. Here's where here's where people drop rank. Here's where people become impatient. Here's where people. This is where you find out about yourself. And this is called the law of gestation. The law of gestation says there is a period 
of incubation that all seeds need to grow before they can be harvested. Our thoughts, desires, and goals must mature over a period of time before they are manifested into our reality. Mm, Coach K, so people think because they listen to a David, they listen to a Dr. Spiller, they listen to a Miranda, they listen to a Jason and Coach Kenny, you think you're going to say, I'm so happy and grateful I'm a chairman one time and chairman is going to manifest tomorrow. No, boo-boo. No, that's not how it works. The first time you say, I am so happy and grateful that I'm a chairman 10 by December 31st, 2020, you just planted the seed. That's all that means. You just planted the seed. And guess what? If you don't hit chairman 10 on December 31st, 2020, what does that mean? We got to keep watering that seed. That's all that means, ladies and gentlemen. You got to keep watering that seed because remember, you're making new agreements with your, with your subconscious and conscious mind. You're making new agreements. So guess what? Your mind is going, doo, 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 doo. wait a minute, wait a minute. Jason is talking about he's a chairman 10. That Negro's used to working. He, he worked at Walmart. He was doing blue vests and yellow smiley. Wait, why is he talking about becoming financially free? Why is he driving a Rolls Royce? Why is he doing all of this stuff? That's not what we're used to. So in the law of gestation, there's a battle that goes on between old agreements and new agreements. I want y'all to write that down. There's a battle that goes on between old agreements and new agreements. Now, don't get me wrong, with the proper focus, the proper belief, the proper energy, getting into alignment, you can manifest Chairman 10 in the next, in the next 90 days, and I hope every single one of you do. But understand, if you don't hit your next rank whenever you write the date down, understand that that seed still has to be watered. That seed still has to be nurtured, right? Have y'all seen the acorn model? The acorn grows into this humongous tree. That doesn't happen in a day. That doesn't happen in a week. That doesn't happen in a month. It takes time. So ladies and gentlemen, give it time for your acorn to grow. You're, 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 you're entering, you're, you're, you're bringing in new agreements to, to change your life, right? You're bringing in millionaire manifestations. You're bringing in chairman manifestations that's going to change your life. And that's going to take some time. As soon as you put the seed in the ground, you don't get the fruit, right? You don't. So if you say, I'm so happy and grateful now, I'm a platinum 5,000 by September 30th, 2020, and it doesn't happen, but, but, but it didn't happen, but you grew your business by 50 or 60 people, right? Well, I know I had the wrong date, but I'm excited about that. And I can appreciate that my business grew 60 people. Next month, I'm going to go for another 60 people and platinum 5,000 for sure will be done. Thank you, God and me. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand the law of gestation. To me, other than the law of vibration, this is one of the most important laws that people miss. Because as humans, right, we're impatient, but the universe is patient. We're trying to rush the universe, right? Man, I need, I need the money now. I need to make $20,000, $30,000 trade now. I need to be chairman right now because all you're thinking about is bills. All you're thinking about is all the things you want to do with your money. And you're, and you're, and you're literally putting into the universe right now of lack. Can I say that, Coach K? Lack. Because you're vibrating that I need it. I need it now. I need it now. I need it now. Ladies and gentlemen, during the law of gestation, I need every single one of you to feel as you already have. It. I don't need you to worry about bills. I don't need you to worry about monthly subscriptions. I don't need you to worry about when you're going to get trading. I don't need you to understand when you're going to hit platinum 1000 and, and platinum 2 and platinum 5. I don't need you to um I don't need you to worry about when you're going to pay the car off and pay the house off. If you feel like you've already done those things, it's going to come. And if and, and if and, and to say that I'm lying is to say God is lying because these are biblical principles, are they not, Coach K? They definitely are. As they not though, as they were. That's the law of gestation. So so show the universe a little faith, right? You can't you can't keep saying I'm so happy and grateful that I'm a seven figure earner and you're not active in your business. Miranda taught me that, right? Complete transparency. I was mad as you know what because of some things that transpired. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to be an IBO. 
they told me that, not Miranda specifically, she knows what I'm talking about, but I was promised this and I was promised this and they made me lose this and, and this happened, they did this. Now I'm gonna be an IDO, but I wasn't practicing wealth principles. How am I gonna, how am I gonna, how am I gonna call into the universe wealth 20,000 a month, 50,000 a month chairman, and I'm not active, right? That's a wealth principle. I had to practice that, right? Matter of fact, I got an urgent. Your account needs attention because my my car got my my car got compromised. Soon as I get off this call, I'm going I'm going to go reactivate my 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 elite package because I want to continue to practice that wealth principle, right? Coach K, agreement number two. All right, agreement number two. So we we so just a matter of review. We know that agreement number one is to be impeccable uh, with your words, and then. Agreement two is never make assumptions. Jason, this right here, this is a subject matter that we could spend hours on because uh, we have the tendency, as a matter of fact, I believe that if we did not make assumptions and we just asked the questions, that we would have more peace, we would have uh, stronger relationships, less divorces, because oftentimes we make assumptions. We make assumptions that people don't like us, and, uh, and it's not that they don't. Is that maybe you caught them and they had a bad thought. Maybe they had something else on their mind. They looked at you and then you looked at your friends. Did you see how she looked at me? Oh, no, she didn't. And that girl wasn't even thinking about you. You assumed that. And so the assumptions is what we do. We even make assumptions to ourselves. We assume that we can't trade. Well, I have a problem with that because the word of God says that you're God. So how is it that you're a God and you can't trade? And everything that is and everything that we are part of that, that's been created has been created by the greater one that's in you and you are a God. You so, see how I'm looking at you. You better say that again. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just going in the word. That's, 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 that's Psalms 82, 6. You can read it for yourself. And as you say, well, that's the Old Testament. Go to John. Go John 10, 34. Jesus said, you are God's. And so that's the thing. You know, it's just like, you know, my man, uh, Mr. Royal, you know what I'm saying? Making king moves, making queen moves. Guys, that's what we're supposed to do, right? We were created to dominate, right? To have dominion. And whenever we're not dominating a subject or, or, or anything, it doesn't matter if it's trading. If you're not dominating trading, you get frustrated. And not only that, you get this easement. And this easement creates disease. And so that's the thing. You can't assume. You can't assume because you've never done something before that you're not good at it. You can do anything that you put your mind to. You just got to make the agreement. Make the agreement that, you know what? I'm so happy and grateful that I'm surrounded with leaders and traders that are allowing me to master the market. And you know what? And I'll take it a step further. I am a master. And this is one of the things. Now, here's the thing that I said, Jason, when I when I, I said I say I am Forex. I mean, I ain't trying to learn Forex. I am Forex. Because everything that exists, I, I, you're gonna have me go, you're gonna have me go on this, Jason. I'm just saying everything, everything that exists, Forex, whatever, has been created by the one, the source, right? Many of you call him God, Jehovah, Jehovah Java, Jehovah DC different names. If you want to go Hebrew, you can go uh, Yeshua, you know, all that, right? It doesn't really matter what you call them, what name you call them, but the fact of the matter is, is that that supreme being, that supreme source is in you. That's why the word says that you can do anything, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe what it can achieve. And that's not, that's, you might heard that from Les Brown, you might want to hear from Jesus, but the word says that you can do anything, whatever you put your mind to do. And the most powerful thing you can do in this business, in this platform, is to get around maybe one or two people to get them to get in agreement with you that you are a master trader. You might have just started tonight, but you need to get somebody to get in agreement that you are a master trader. Not, am I'm a, not only am I a master trader, but I'm a master trader that knows how to hit ranks. Chairman 10, Chairman 25, Chairman 750. What, what Christopher Terry? You going to do something else? Come on, because we are that. And that's what the power of assumption. Don't assume anything. Don't assume people don't like you. Don't assume that you can't do something. You can do it. Do not assume. Can we flip that? You can. OK. So, the definition of assumption, ladies and gentlemen, and I love this, a thing that is accepted as true 
or as certain to happen without proof. Ladies and gentlemen, what is that? That's faith. That's faith. A thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen without proof. So what I want y'all to do, I want you to make assumptions about yourself. Not other people, not other things, not other, never make assumptions about people or situations. Only make assumptions about what you want in life. Because here's the, def here's the definition. A thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen without proof. I want you to make an assumption about yourself tonight that you're a seven-figure Forex trader. I want you to make the assumption about yourself tonight that you are a chairman. I want you to make the assumption about yourself that you deserve the best that life has to offer. Make the assumption about yourself only faith-based assumptions. I want y'all to write that down. Only faith-based assumptions. If it if it's Girl, girl, you see Tory Lanez and Megan, you ain't worried about that. You can't make assumptions about that. You wasn't there. All you hear is he say and she say. Did you hear with uh, such and such and, and this, that? No, you don't make assumptions about people or situations. All you're making assumptions about is where you're going in life, period. Those are the only assumptions you want to make. So here go the deep one right here. <laughs> Agreement number three, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Never take anything personally. What, what Coach K likes to say to his son, Negro, don't get mad at your money. Your money, that's right. <laughs> that's what, that's, that's, you, you should see, see, y'all know Coach K is the sweet, loving bear. I mean, he's not mean at all, but when I come to him with some stuff, he'll be like, Negro. Why are you getting mad at your money? Boy, you're rich. Chill. Like, what are you, what? Like, what are we talking about right now, right? So never take anything personal. Guys, um, the seven laws of uncommon success. How many of you know right now that your success right now could be connected to the person that you don't like in this organization? Coach K, I said something. You said something. <laughs> How yeah, many people know something. that your success could be connected to the person that you're talking about? How many people on here know that your success is connected to the person that you refu refuse to deal with because you have ego? What does ego mean? Edging God out. Right? You have ego. You're, ah, man, Jason, man, man, I trade better than him. Man, he can't really build. Man, I ain't messing with I ain't messing with Miranda. She gonna call and make me do some stuff I ain't gotta want. Come on, come on, y'all. Not knowing that Miranda is connected to your success. Not knowing that Terry Clay is connected to your trading success. Not knowing that Barbara Drayden is connected to your building success. Not knowing that Vanessa Carter and the Carters are connected to your building and your trading success. But you don't want to work with them because you don't like the fact that 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 Vanessa got two thousand. I'm just making an example but $2,000 sunglasses on. You don't like the fact that Miranda bought a Range Rover and you driving a Toyota. Are we serious? What God has for you is, it, it, is for you. Qualify what you allow to affect you. And I wrote this one myself, Jason McGee 2020. Success is a winding road. Don't take the curse personal, baby. Right? Because if I would have took the curves personal, there would be no Terry Clay. There would be no Barbara. There would be no Jamal. There would be no Alonzo. There would be no Eric. There would be there would be no royal legacy if I would have took the curves personal. Miranda knows what I'm talking about. Coach K knows what I'm talking about. Right? If I take if I if I would have took the promise per the promises personal, if I would have took the like what and this is not me because I'm just how I am. But what people would call favoritism or, you know, um, man, how is it that such and such? And, and we heard it all the time. We, can, can I be real tonight? I can be real tonight, right? Why is it that such and such, I'm just going to say his name is such and such. He built two legs for them and he ain't even helping us over here, right? How is it that he's helping this person that just came in the organization, but we've been down with him since the beginning and we haven't gotten any help since day one? Never take anything personally. And guys, I'm going to say this. When people act crazy, when people act 
what I like to call ignorant, right? That that has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with them. So why are you taking personal? Why are you taking the demons that they're battling personal? Success is a winding road. Don't take the curse personal, baby. Remember the law of gestation. Coach K, agreement four. We're going to get done on time. Yeah, it look like we're going to get good. good. And guys, let me say this as we go to the next slide on, on agreement four uh, about uh, taking things personally. And, and, and I know that we're bringing you guys this information. This is a process, guys. This is a process. Because all of our lives, we have seen people take things personal, right? We, you know, we've heard it over and over and over. Uh, I'm offended by this or I'm offended by that, you know, because we take things personally. But I have learned that it, it, when you take things personal, personal what it's going to do is going to rob you of the energy that you need to have the other things that you desire to manifest because it takes energy to have things to manifest in your life. So do not give your energy to taking things personal. I learned that. And so we're going to go, as Jason said, we're going to get through this guys agreement four. always do your best. Always do your best. Always do your best, you know, and, Here's the thing about goals. I know that, you know, in the various uh, network marketing arenas, you know, you got your, uh, you know, your, your disciplined goal, uh, goal takers or goal facilitators. And you got people that are not really good at writing goals and doing goals. And here's something that you have to understand. You can't, you can't get upset because there's this individual that got involved with I mastery three months later, 45 days later, they're chairman 10. And then you look at you and say, Oh man, I've been in for three years and I'm still a platinum 1000 or whatever. Right. And you look at that, right? Well, the thing is, is that if you can answer sincerely that you're doing the best you can, then you are on the right path. And that's so important. Everything that you do, do the best, right? So the next, when, when the next day comes, you don't look to yesterday and say, you know what, yesterday, man, I bombed out. No, no, no. Today is a new day. I'm going to do the very best that I can. Same thing that we do for our kids. It's very difficult for you to chastise a child that is doing the very best that they can. Even, even though they may not be getting an A in the class, Maybe they're not even giving a B. Maybe they're a C student at the moment, right, based on the challenges that they got going on. But you're not going to chastise them and say, why you bring me that A when they're doing, you didn't bring me that A, and they brought a C when, they, what, they're doing the best they can. So, Jason, I'll let you finish up with that. Absolutely. And, and guys, know this. Competition is dumb. Y'all heard it mm -hmm. from me, right? You put – you can't you can't judge a fish's ability on how to climb a tree, right? An, another agreement we made with ourselves and when when we were younger, they would have field day, right? And they would do track and field and basketball and 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 they would give they would give trophies, right? They would give trophies and and oh, little Johnny, he got first place in basketball. He got first place in track. He gonna be a superstar. Now Johnny, your Uber driver, and you a chairman 10, right? And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm just saying competition is dumb, ladies and gentlemen. Don't compare yourself to a Bryce Thompson, right? And I know, I know we edify Bryce Thompson a lot, but you gotta think, but honestly, Bryce's parents paid the price for where Bryce and Brandon is today. Because they had, oh, they were in network marketing for over 20 years and had no success. So guess what the universe did? They rolled, the universe rolled that into their children. Bet y'all didn't know that, did y'all? Right? So all you can do is all you can do. I mean, don't compare your chapter one to someone's chapter 15. If Coach K made $8,000 this week or whatever he made this week, I'm pretty sure it was fantastic. Well, Coach K is taking a lot of bumps and bruises right? If I made what I made this week, I've taken a lot of bumps and bruises. When Miranda got that chairman check, she's taken a lot of bumps and bruises, right? No one knows the health issues she's dealt with. Nobody knows the, the struggle she had to get her son through high school. She deserves chairman 10. And you're comparing that and you've had a lollipop life. That's, that's, that's not what we do. Do not compete, right? Success is infinite, right? Now that Miranda's hit 120 
thousand plus dollars a year. She's look. I guarantee y'all. I haven't talked to Mar I haven't talked to Miranda about it or anything. I guarantee y'all. If y'all ask her right now, Miranda, how does it feel to um make one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year? She's gonna say, now it's time to twenty five thousand. Now it's time to fifty thousand. Success is infinite, ladies and gentlemen. When you hit your ten thousand dollar mark, you're gonna say, man, this ain't nothing. I need twenty. When you hit your twenty, you're gonna say, man, I need fifty. I I promise you. Right? There's somebody, I guarantee you, there's somebody on this call right now that said, well, I don't need all that. I'm, I, 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 I live a very modest life. Okay. Watch what I tell you. This is being recorded. Watch what Jason McGee tells you. Now, what are some other good agreements, right? The I am statements, right? Um, ooh, I do want to teach y'all this. Coach K, talk for two seconds and let me go get my identity statements. Talk for okay. two seconds. I want to give them this. All right, two, you give me two seconds. I can do that in two seconds, absolutely. And so, again, I mean, as Jason, as he's going to get his, uh, his statements there, guys, I mean, as we bring this particular training to a close, guys, it's very, very important as we go through these various agreements and, and that we're making affirmations. You hear David all the time giving affirmation. Matter of fact, I'm so happy and grateful that's the first time that I really got into the, uh, the, the I'm so happy and grateful. But I've been doing affirmations for a very, very long time. You know, Les Brown, uh, Tony Robbins, you know what I'm saying? I'm a force for good. I'm a voice for good, you know. And you keep speaking those things because when you, when you talk about faith, and Jason, I'm going to let you get in position, but when you talk about faith, even God, I mean, you know, the son said that when the son of man returned, he says, will I find faith in the earth? Well, I mean, that's a serious question, right? Because there's so many things that is competing uh, for, you, for, uh, for your voice. There's so many things that's competing for your attention. Now, during this global reset, more, I believe, more than any other time in the history that we've been on this planet, is a time for you to be impeccable get your agreements right, get an agreement that you are successful. And it's all through the word. You know, everything that I lay my hands to do, we know it, don't we, Miranda? Anything that I touch, God is going to bless it. God's going to prosper it, right? Press down. We know it. Uh, you know, I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field, press down, shaking together, running over, shall men give, right? These are affirmations all throughout the word. But here's what we miss it, is that we don't do them repeatedly. We allow circumstance to come in, and then we begin to speak based on what we see and not what we need to see, right? So, Jason, you're in position now? I don't want to take up too I, yeah, much time. I am, I'm in position, man. I am getting ready to hook y'all up. I'm getting ready to hook y'all up. You know the I am statements, right? You know how to say I am so happy and grateful now. I'm going to give you guys a couple, right? A couple good ones, right? And I want you to T hook me up in the chat. Here's one. I, I am, or I am, or, or I am, I am so happy and grateful now that I am a receiver of financial authority. That's heavy. I am so happy and grateful now that I am a receiver of financial authority. Now, now I know my, I know my church folk going like this one, right? I always say I'm a heathen. I promise I wasn't, right? I am so happy and grateful now that I am surrounded with a Boaz anointing. I am so happy and grateful now that I am surrounded with a Boaz anointing, right? Now, I wanna, I wanna teach you guys because I haven't seen anybody teach on these real quick because I, I promise we're gonna try to get this done. Um, intention statements, right? And identity statements, no, 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 no. Intention statements, right? It is my intention that I that I achieved the rank of platinum five thousand by September thirtieth, twenty twenty. It is my intention that I earn and receive thirty thousand eight hundred dollars in the forex market by October fifteenth. Start adding intention statements. Let the universe know your intention. Right. So that so it is my intention. Right. I think my boy Leonard's on here. It, it, it is my attention that I hit platinum 1000 in the next 30 days. Thank you, God. Right? Add the intention statements. Here's another one. This one's going to be huge, and I really want y'all to pay attention to this one. I promise we got three more slides after this. 
right? Identity statements. I want y'all to write this down. Identity statements, right? Now, everyone pretty much on this call who's heard David, who's heard any of our mentors, Miranda Abdullah, the subconscious mind can't take a joke. The subconscious mind can't determine what's real or fake, right? So whatever questions, whatever agreements you put into your subconscious mind, your subconscious mind has to come, has to find a, a, a why behind the what. So I want to teach you guys the identity statement. And, and, and they start with why do I? Now watch this, right? I'm, I'm, here's, a, here's a few of mine, right? Why are all of my goals, dreams, and intentions showing up in present and physical form so fast? When you say that, you say subconscious mind, why are all of my goals, dreams, and intentions showing up in present and physical form so fast? That's what your subconscious mind is going to do. It's got to find the answer. Well, Jason just confessed this by faith. Why is his dreams, goals, and desires, uh, you know, why are they coming so, um, why are they coming true so fast? Here's another one. Why am I experiencing miracles every day? Right? Here's a, here's a good one. Subconscious mind. Why is life always working out for me? <laughs> why is the universe giving me exactly what I want in life and some? Do y'all see what I'm doing there on, on these identity statements? If, if, if you want if you want to speed up your manifestation, if you want to speed up what it is you want in your life, after you confess, I am so happy and grateful, after you can, can confess your intention, start asking the subconscious why every day, 21 days, right? Here's another one. I want y'all to have this one, right? Why do I have avalanches of abundance and prosperity flowing down on me so that all my dreams, desires, and intentions can come true right now, Reverend Knight, right? Has the answer right now. Seriously, why am I experiencing massive growth in my organization? Why am I ranking up the Chairman 750 so fast? Why am I attracting so many Chairman 10s in my organization at a quantum rate? Ladies and gentlemen, if you add the identity statements to your, to your I am and to your identity, right? And one more Coach K as I go to the next slide, right? Start, start asking your subconscious, got, um, you got to speak to it, you know, speak the command. So here's another one that I do, right? Subconscious mind, tell me seven reasons why I will achieve Chairman 10 in the next 90 days. <laughs> got to go find the answer, right? I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't care. I've asked my subconscious mind, why am I going Chairman 10 in the next 90 days? It's going to find the answer for me, right? Subconscious mind, tell me seven reasons why I'll make seven figures in Forex trading within the next 12 months. Do, 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 do. Right? Do this every day, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Okay, we got, oh, it's nine o'clock. Y'all give us 10 minutes. Give us 10 minutes. Coach Gay, how do you really manifest? All right, yeah. So how you really manifest, guys. This is this is um <laughs> I mean, this is what, what it is, guys. I mean, whenever you make a confession, uh, whenever you make an affirmation, you know, there are, uh, you know, enemies out there. I'm not getting into any devil stuff tonight. Don't worry about any of that. But there are antagonistic uh, frequencies that are going to come against the very positive affirmations that you give. And we know that in our minds, we're pulled in so many directions. I mean, we're multitasking, we're trading, and we're thinking about how much time I have left on this trade, and I got to get to work. Oh, I got to pick up the car. Oh, I got to get this done. Oh, I need to call such and such back. You got all these thoughts going on right after you made an affirmation. And the way that you get things to manifest is that you have to hold a thought, right, a single thought, for at least 17 seconds, guys, you gotta hold it. So how you got how are you gonna do that? It may take a little practice, but that's what the whole faith piece of is. Faith comes by hearing and hearing, meaning that repetitive hearing. So therefore, I need to continue to hear myself say, say things like, "I'm so happy and grateful." 
that through my Forex trading, that I am a force for good. I am so happy and great. And just constantly I'm repeating and holding that thought and maintaining that thought and keeping that thought and that frequency and that vibration going for at least 17 seconds is when the manifestations and the process of that manifestation begins to work. All right. Thank you for that, Coach K. Now, how about 68 seconds? When you repeatedly return to a pure thought, maintaining it for at least 68 seconds in a short period of time, hours in some cases, a few days in others, the thought becomes a dominant thought. And once you achieve a dominant thought, you will experience matching manifestations Man. until you change it, ladies and gentlemen. So when you start holding it for 17 seconds, you hold your next rank for 17 seconds, at least um, at least three or four times out of day. Start practicing doing it 68 seconds a day. Now, you're, now your trading goal is a dominant thought. Now your chairman rank is a dominant thought. Now that Mercedes Benz is a dominant thought. Now that Rolls Royce is a dominant thought. And with, with, with Coach K said about the strangest secret, you become what you think about the most. Right. So once it becomes a dominant thought, the universe is going to align up and put you in certain situations where you can get what you're thinking about the most. So ladies and gentlemen, I told you tonight, we want to show y'all exactly how to do it. Practice focusing on your next rank. Once you do 17 seconds, it goes into manifestation. Once you do 68 seconds at a time, it becomes a dominant thought. Once it becomes a dominant thought, why, I mean, just watch it work. Watch it work. Two more slides. I'm going to let Coach K do this when I name this one for him. Happy feelings. Happy feelings, guys. Um, you know what, Jason? I was, I, was about to, I was about to play that, too. Right? You know, happy feelings. Can you, matter of fact, I got it going in the background as I finish up with my piece of this, guys. It's all about the feelings, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when we get involved in relationships, we get involved in relationships. Why? Because how they made me, what? Feel. And we love that person as long as the person continues to make us feel a certain way. And then when that changes, now they don't make me feel good or feel the way they used to make me feel. Now you say, oh, there's something wrong with that individual. And so, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I'm about to share with you that's going to get you to the next level about feelings. It starts with your very first breath when you wake up in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, don't drag out of the bed, guys. Hop up out of the bed and say, you know what? I'm so happy and grateful for today. God, thank you for another day. That energy, that frequency, that vibration, starting your day out with the right energy is what's going to get you through all of the other things that are antagonistic toward your goals, antagonistic toward you becoming as Christopher Turner said, what will you become? What will I become today? What will I become this day? That's how you have to approach it. Maintain those feelings. Even if you got to listen to some Frank and Beverly and Mays, maybe you got to listen to some 528 frequency, some of the Jamaican music, man. Yeah, that, that frequency is built into music. Things that's going to have you thinking positive things. I'm going to say this, Jason, I'm done. The Bible even says this. He says, think on these things which are good. Think on these things which are pure. Think on these things which are of a good report, right? Telling you that you got to make sure that you are in control of the thought process and then connect your emotions, connect your feelings. That happy and grateful, it's not, oh, I'm so happy and grateful. No, you got to feel it in your bones. God, I'm so happy and grateful. I'm so happy and grateful. I'm so happy and grateful that at 58 years old, I have a plan. So I didn't have a plan three years ago, ladies and gentlemen. My 401k was dwindling. I didn't know what I was going to do. But when I got in the right frequency, I got in the right vibration, I began to confess. Even when I lost countless of thousands of dollars with a company that was trading my money. I didn't say, you know what, I'm done with investing. I said, God, if they can do what they did with my money and took my money, I want you to show me how to do what they did so I can, what, keep my money. And ladies and gentlemen, here I am today, Coach K saying to you, I'm able to keep my money because I kept the right feelings. I kept the right attitude. And that's my closing remarks, Mr. Jason McGee. Thank hey, you. Hey, that was, <clears throat> that was awesome. And then, guys, as we bring this to a close, I want you to do this. Here's another trick, right? When you're meditating, when you're doing the 17 second and the 68 second rule, do this, right? 
Marant, I know I know Miranda's done it. I want everybody to do this. I don't care if it's for your next rank, whatever it, whatever it is. I want you to say these words. I, and I and I close my eyes, right? I'm gonna let y'all see my eyes. Subconscious mind. How would it feel to be a platinum five thousand right now, bringing in five thousand dollars a month? And then you just let your mind go there. So what? How you would feel to make five thousand dollars a month? What would you buy? What would you eat? What would you drive? What? How much more money would you put in your trading account? What would five thousand dollars do for you, right? Subconscious mind. How would it feel if I was making fifty thousand dollars a month minimum trading on a consistent basis? Now you start thinking about that Gucci store, that Fendi store, that Louis Vuitton store. You start thinking about that trip to Tulum, Mexico, that trip to Santorini, Greece. Y'all hear how I'm calling that stuff? Because I see it. That's the trick. When you do I am so happy and grateful, it is my intention that subconscious mind, why am I such and such and such? Now, subconscious mind, how would it feel, right? Because they always say we got to connect our words with our feelings. Well, how the heck do we do that? Oh, Jason McGee, Kenny McGee, we got it. Subconscious mind. How would it feel if I had 10 Chairman 10s in my organization by December 31st, 2021? I see, oh, look, check this out. I see Barbara Drayton. I see Leonard Woods. I see Terry Clay. I see Shahira Hassan. I see Cynthia Spurlock. I see Zacharias Phillips. I see Jamal Evans. Do y'all see how that works? right? And you feel good. So that's the, that, those, those are the tips and, and the secrets that are going to get you there. And as we bring this to a close, two minutes, you got this. Consistency, belief, sow the seeds, ladies and gentlemen, and reap the harvest. Remember the law of gestation. If you say, I'm so happy and grateful now, I'm a platinum 5,000 by September 30th, 2020, and it doesn't happen, you, st you still got watering to do. And you just guessed the wrong date. Because <laughs> it's coming, right? It's coming. Coach K, like he says, greater is he that is in me, right? And remember this, ladies and gentlemen, death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive. I figured that out in I Am Mastery Academy, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm, when I'm talking to people in, in Royal Legacy and Stephen Royal and Miranda, we're all coming on trying to save people. We're coming on trying to help people see a better way. And I figured it out. I said, death is not the biggest fear. The biggest fear is people taking the risk to be alive. People are literally scared of God blessing them. People are literally scared. They say, oh, Lord, if I just have more money, and then here comes uh, Barbara Drayton saying, well, hey, I got this opportunity for you. Oh, no, I don't, uh-uh, I don't do stuff like that. Oh, Lord, if I just had a better car, uh, oh, yeah. Then here comes Terry saying, hey, if you want to learn how to trade, inbox me. Look at Terry trade. She trying to act like she really, it happens every time, ladies and gentlemen. But it's the agreements that we've made to ourselves. The agreements will put the blinders on you where people don't even realize it's not their fault. It's just the agreements that they made IBO. So as we bring this to a close, just realize death is not the biggest fear we have. The biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive. So I'm asking all 36 of you on this call right now and type ones in the chat if you're with me. Do not type it if you are not with me. Are you, are you fearless enough to take the risk to be alive? Type ones in the chat if, you, if you're willing to take the risk right now to be alive. You're willing to take the risk with Coach K. You're willing to take the risk with Jason McGee. You're willing to take the risk with Miranda Robeson. You're willing to take the risk with Steven, with Vanessa, with Mark, with Patrick, with Barbara, with Terry, with Cynthia, with Shahir, with, with the leader who invited you on this call. Don't type a one if you're scared, right? If you're scared, I got plenty of pastors in my group, right? We'll get some oil. We'll throw it on you. You can pass out. And we'll get that demon out of you, right? Right? But now is not the time to be scared because now you know these agreements, ladies and gentlemen. What are you going to do with these agreements? Take the risk to be alive. The worst that can happen is you succeed. 
because if these things don't work, that's basically saying that the Bible is fake and the universal laws don't work. We've seen this stuff work time and time again. Why is it not working for you? Because nobody's actually breaking down, well, how do we really do this? Ladies and gentlemen, 60, uh, 17 seconds, 68 seconds, following the four agreements, subconscious, how would it feel if, right? Why am I, right? I am so happy and grateful that. It is my attention that. Start confessing that. Make, it, make that a part of your everyday routine and success will be yours. Ooh, I went over by two minutes. I apologize, right? So we're done, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to see if, um, first, I want to see if Barbara real quick, if she wants to come in and close. If not, Miss Barbara, can we have Miranda unmute? Uh, or I would like Barbara, then Miranda last to close us out. We're going to give honor where honor's due. Barbara, are you there? If she's not in position to unmute, that's fine. I'll give it a couple seconds. Going once, going twice. Okay, Miranda, are you there? Can they unmute? Somebody's unmuted. All right, all right. Well, okay. okay. Oh, they can't unmute. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, don't hang up, don't hang up, don't hang up. Why is that turned off? Barbara, ask to unmute. Can you unmute now, Barbara? Yeah. There it is. Barbara. And let me get Miranda. Do you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can hear you. You can hear you. Oh, yes, you can hear me. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh, I'm like so totally jacked up sideways with this whole thing. Oh my gosh, you guys did a super fantastic, amazing job. I'm just like, what just happened here? I have been engaged with the four agreements, um, my goodness, for at least 10 years now, guys. Um, being a life coach, that's one of the, the, one of the main reads that we are encouraged to do. You guys were, who sat here tonight, your cup has been replenished. Um, um, uh, my cup has been replenished. You did an amazing job, you and Coach K. O-M-G. Wow, all, that's all I can say. My energy, y'all know me, I'm always jacked up sideways. But oh my gosh, this tonight was awesome. Needed for me, you know, for my own personal journey. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. You guys are amazing. This team is amazing. Guys, we have everything that we desire to you like them. Thank you for the opportunity to, to say something. I appreciate it. All right, thank you, thank you. Miranda, close us out, please. Wow, wow, Kenny and Jason, McGee, this is, has, has absolutely been phenomenal. You know, I mean, you know, the thing about it is it doesn't matter how high you go in an organization or what you may obtain as a chairman, as a trader, you never stop learning, you never stop growing. When you get to the place that you know too much, then you're dead. As long as you're living, you can learn and sit at the feet of anybody. Because guess what? Everybody can teach someone something. And the great thing about it, Jason, I love you. I love you, Kenny. Yeah, I'm just over here screaming because, I mean, this is revelation. The revelation that you got on this is absolutely phenomenal. And if people actually take and apply everything that you said, everything that you use as an example, there is no way, there is no reason why you cannot hit your goal there's no reason and there's no way that you cannot go to the next level in your life. Because once we find out that everything that you said is, is, is literally all in us, because everything we need is in us. So Jason, Kenny, this is phenomenal. I mean, there. I mean, y'all have fired me up. It's like it's like I'm fired up tonight. I'm fired. I'm like literally. I am. I'll be up all night just gurgitating this, going over this in my mind. This is absolutely ph phenomenal. Y'all are chairman. There's no doubt in my mind that this is not a chairman organization. My only hope and prayer is that the people that are connected with you that they do not take the gift that's within both of you lightly. 
deeply that they understand that if they apply everything that you're saying, that they will hit their next level. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you so much, Kenny. I love you all. We're everything that God has called us to be because we spoke it into existence. So we are everything that God has said we shall be, and it shall come to pass in this season in our life. God bless you and love you guys. All right, all right, Miranda, and watch this. Royal Legacy, let's unmute, and y'all know how we're going out. Let's unmute, let's unmute. Are y'all ready to go? I saw Barbara unmute. Are y'all ready to go? Ty, unmute. Y'all ready? Three, two, one. Let's, let's, let's go! go!